Make a part. Yeah, bull crap's too heavy to pick up. Don't do that. Make me do it manually. Oh, I'm exhausted. <laughs> uh, drop. Fruit, leather, candy, salad. 30 minutes. So, if you're not aware, there you go. There's my weariness indicator down there. Extreme weariness. <laughs> Why does it say weary malice plus? It's, it's, there it is. <laughs> plus 300%. So if I pick up my Tonfa, what would normally cost me, let's see. So here's, here's what I'm talking about. If you go to your Tonfa and you look at the, um, <clears throat> the action point costs moves per attack 117 right now because I have that weariness malice when I attack it's costing me 336 instead of 117 that's the danger with being weary that uh, I think people are not 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 being careful enough of costing three times as many movement or action points well swing that what I disagree with really, really strongly, is that um, movement is not affected by weariness. You could be flat, totally, massively, extremely, ultimate exhausted, but you can still sprint like there's no no problem, no change, no nothing. Sprinting's no problem, walking's the same cost. It, it's ridiculous. I, I, I think it's, it's a cop-out, and it's dumb. <laughs> and I, I think it's uh, an obvious disparity in the realism system that's being uh, being touted. I don't know what they plan on doing about that, if anything, but uh, it's really silly. Anything else you try to do action-wise, fight and so on, is super extra action points and movement points, but um, you can still sprint like there's just absolutely no problem. You're fresh as a daisy. Um, do, do, do. Let's see. Yeah, we should sleep. We should just sleep. Oh, it's the full full moon time, and I'm burning all my time doing this vehicle stuff. Hmm. No reading light on. Crouch. Go to sleep. Keep as long as you want. Um, what do you mean they nerfed recharging stations? In what way? <laughs> I don't remember any changes to recharging from 0.e to current. <clears throat> I don't, I never use them. So, I mean, I don't have any direct experience of them recently. I might use them in this run just because I've got the laser rifle, which incentivizes me to recharge heavy batteries for the, uh, the pew pew laser rifle. Beyond that, I never use them. I leave them in the vehicle, but I just never use them. Uh, let's see. Hungry, hungry hippo. Let's have... Candy and other candy and fruit leathers and chocolate. Peanut butter candy and popcorn candy and... <laughs> Candy coated peanuts. Oh yeah, good old sweet tooth. Good enough. All right, what was I working on? I was gonna take this stuff apart, but now I'm thinking I might not. Short ropes, grab up the short ropes. One sheet metal. Um. Let's grab one more frame. All of that. Uh, seats.
Yeah, it won't work. Pipe springs, rags, and pipe fittings. Pretty much everything I need, actually. So I think I, maybe I will take these apart and finish taking this one apart. Come here, Tonfa. Forget you're here. Oh, failed to recover. <laughs> I got two and 13 and one. Huh? Is that because of my skill or because it was so damaged? White daylight yet? What am I missing now? I need two more pipes and still need small sheet metal. Um, all right. I think I get small sheet metal off of these things. I think we're all set. I only got 10 liters of fuel, so I gotta be a little careful. Head back up here. Last couple parts I need for the, uh, the workbench. Bench. It's gonna take a while. We're gonna spend the whole day here. I'm gonna be losing all of this beautiful, beautiful full moon bonus. Go away, giant web spider. <laughs> it's dancing around right up front. Alright, I want you right here. Install Extreme weariness. Oh, I think I have anything else right now. All right, looking good. Pretty much just need uh, another tank. 
And a 50 cal replacement. And the chemistry station. Uh, onboard chemistry lab. Reset, electrolysis, water faucet, and a power converter. Power converter is easy. I thought I had a chemistry set. Did I not come out with a chemistry set? I did. Oh, I just need to unload it. So I do have the chemistry set. Uh, electrolysis kit. Copper wire. Don't have enough copper wire. All I need, huh? Copper wire? Hmm. So, power converter, water faucet, and then just copper wire. Alright. Turn that off. Dead tired and extreme weariness. <laughs> There's a combination for you. Uh, wait. And then we're just going to have a whole bunch of... And we're going to wash that butter down with some cooking oil. Ah, normal weight again. Ah. Hold in. That spider had better not wake me up. Get annoyed. Yeah, it kind of bothers me to uh, be wasting away this full moon bonus. Getting the vehicle up to up to point. Why go overweight? <laughs> Is this the simplest way to uh, keep your health or your weight easily monitored? Being overweight doesn't really have any negative effect. And um, if you just constantly remember to keep it out overweight, that's the only real thing you need to pay attention to for the entire food system. Otherwise, you'll get yourself into a pretty big weight, body weight deficit, and then you'll go whining on Reddit uh, complaining about the food system and how you don't understand it and it's broken. And uh, I'm tired of answering those questions on Reddit, so <laughs> just make this say overweight. If it goes above overweight, stop eating until it says overweight. If it goes below overweight, eat a lot until it goes back to overweight. And that'll make sure that you have no negatives to worry about, but you do have enough calories, extra body weight calories stored that you can then use certain CBMs. Some CBMs will stop functioning if you fall below a certain uh, body weight, body fat percentage. So you want to make sure you can always use your CBMs at all times when you need them. And uh, you don't really want to pay attention to anything else in regard regarding the uh, food and weight system. Just keep an eye on that and make sure you're doing it from day one. Don't, don't wait two weeks and then start writing scathing messages about how you are always very hungry and you can you can never seem to make it go away even though you ate four hot dogs and two cheeseburgers and how you, you shouldn't be hungry anymore <laughs> because that's not the way the system works and I'm tired of explaining it to everybody. So yeah. And you know, eat lots of butter and lots of vegetable oil because those are the current superfoods. Ultra calorie dense. That's the, the most calorie dense food you can possibly eat. And um, if you eat it en masse before going to sleep, then you completely sleep off the negative morale consequences and you don't really have to take any any issues. Minus 25 joy, normally this would be bad, but I, I eat like 20 of it or 25 of it, whatever I can fit in my belly right before I go to bed. That means I'm eating 2,500, 2,600 calories uh, just right at bedtime and uh, I sleep off the negative morale effects. So there's, there's no downside to it. <clears throat> so there you go. 
body weight or, or food management for dummies <laughs> in Cataclysm DDA currently. So I'm still at normal, so I'm going to keep chumping, chunking food into my face every chance I get. Oh, what are we going to have? What are we going to have? Let's have meat jerky. Potato chips, tortilla chips, oh, pretzels, toastings, malted milk balls, candy cigarettes, necro wafers. And we're also, we have the sweet tooth, so we're getting a lot of morale bonuses for it. So it's helping our focus trend. All right, so uh, we got the next big thing done. I got the workbench in. I just need to go to grab a faucet, a power converter, and then we need some copper wire. We can get copper wire from car alternators. Get how much you get, and I don't think I brought that. I think I left that alternator laying on the road, the damaged truck alternator. Um, Usually I find some copper in the lab, but apparently we didn't this time. So, faucet... Let's go to the kitchen. Uh, smash that. Give me the water faucet. Really? Really? <laughs> Fine. Drag the water faucet back. Uh, I need a computer for the power converter. Should be at least one computer in here somewhere. Uh... Done over there. How about in the offices? Really? Nobody has a computer? Really? That's just silly. Take out your plugs. I don't remember if there's any computers over here either. Uh, no? Not a single computer. Hmm. What devices do we have over here? Air compressor, arc furnace, electronic machinery. What do you got? Fire circuits, power converters. All right, give me the wire, <laughs> the one copper wire. Electronic scrap, power converters, amplifiers, and yeah, take a look. Don't think anything else in here is going to be worth taking apart trying to get wire. Vehicle alternators. There's a couple of vehicles nearby. I think I grabbed the alternator out of one. Maybe I will go back down and get... Anything else we... As soon as I can get the, uh, the chemistry lab in... All we need then, really, the only other main thing I need for the vehicle is um, storage batteries from solar vehicles. Other than that, it's just a little bit of touch-up. That will finish my beloved Humvee. Oh, and a whole bunch of diesel. <laughs> a whole bunch of diesel would be good. Never seen Vorm actually do any cooking. I almost never do anymore. I haven't in a really long time. I just, I know the game too well. Food is just a trivial thing for me, so regardless of what my settings are, oh, I just don't bother. You don't do forge or kitchen or food cow? 
So I never do a forge. I just never see a point or a reason to. I know where all the stuff is in the game, so I can go get the, the weapons that I want. I almost never have to make a weapon uh, that would require a forge. Um, the kitchen unit is what I usually put in my Humvee, except when I'm doing a mutagen run, then I put the chemistry station in. A chemistry sa station with a cooking pot is the equivalent of a kitchen unit. There's no difference in functionality. The chemistry station gives you addition of chemical making um, beyond what a kitchen unit will do. So technically, for all around purposes, you always want to go with a kitchen or a chemistry station with uh, just having a cooking pot anywhere nearby. And you get all the functionality of the kitchen unit. And uh, what was the other one? <laughs> uh, food Co? No, I never do a Food Co. I could care less about Food Co. Food Co. doesn't do anything for me. Just gives you some preservation options, and I never do any of that, so I don't really care. Food Co. has a connected bullet puller. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, goody. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> Eh, it's a damaged alternator. We're probably not going to get as much wire as I'm hoping out of it. Uh-oh. Fine metal sawing. I don't have my hacksaw, so i got to... I'll do it. Yeah, you could get 60 wire. So... Uh, oh, did we get everything else? Oh, I got it. Cool. Well, awesome. I, I was expecting I would uh, fail that amount. Uh, is that everything? Uh, got to unload the chemistry set, and I got to make the elect electrolysis kit. So drop. Uh oh. And end up leaving this damn tonfa somewhere. <laughs> uh, all chemistry sets to the west. Are you? Unload the chemistry set. That'll make it valid as a uh, an item for the recipe. And then the electrolysis. It's onboard chemistry lab. Who's the... Who's the dark welder? Oh, wait. Damn it. No! <laughs> damn it! <laughs> I knew I hit the wrong one. <laughs> My bad. My bad. I'll have to go rip the battery out of the van. <laughs> hey, van. <laughs> Give me your battery. I did a silly. <laughs> Install. Let's not do that again. Okay, install onboard chemistry lab. Okay, looks beautiful. There you go. Behold it in all its glory. I have cargo spaces. Welding rig, which only really needs storage batteries in the vehicle now. Chemistry stat. We have a pot somewhere around here, so it'll function as a, a full kitchen unit. And uh, I can just stand here and I can access every item within the vehicle. I've got access to the workbench for the uh, crafting time bonus. And not having to deal with that drop down menu or that uh, pick where to go menu. Good stuff. Good stuff. Glorious. All right. Now my worry is just gas. As soon as I get some more diesel, we'll be good to go. Tired again. 1,300. Um, how many cash cards did I pick up? Ooh, almost none. All right. Oh, I don't know how much gas 200 bucks will get me. I'm tempted to run back down and... Uh, 
How far away is that thing? Um, oh, that's right. We'd have to go back through the uh, the Triffid area. Trying to avoid going back through the Triffid area, but I have to if I want to get back to the research facility. Or I have to go down through here, try to get out here. Care about those? That's. Down south of that area. What else did I leave up here? The RV, I don't need the RV anymore. I don't need the tow truck anymore. Hmm. Make the trip or go looking elsewhere. We still have a road going out this way that I haven't explored yet. Let's do that. Let's go that way. Oh, I'm so happy I'm back in my Humvee. <laughs> uh, oh, look at that. How's that for interesting times? All these zombies are going to stand up as soon as I try to walk next to them. That does not run on diesel. What you guys got? Nothing useful. Nothing useful. Batteries! Eh, one light battery. Alright. Just standard gas. So, one of the good things about the limousine is you can get all the leather from the uh, leather seats. Only the uh, luxury vehicles have leather seats nowadays. The luxury RVs, limousines. I think the tour bus also is considered a luxury vehicle. There's a handful of them. Yeah, I haven't put the uh, the the stereo into the Humvee yet. It's not complete until I get the stereo in. Is there anything good to find in shipwrecks? No, there is not. Used to be you could get um, razor claw eggs, but I haven't seen any of those in forever. Woodland whites, and there used to be a different. Uh oh, soldier body sight. M two M four A ones and an M ten fourteen shotgun. Huh? Um, if I had my 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 storage battery, I would just instantly run all these guys down. Don't I need to put a fridge in your car to store food? Uh, no. Why would I care? You notice I don't use the sappy vest. Can you teach me why? I do use the sappy vest. I just take out the ballistic plates. And it depends on what kind of character I'm doing, but um, I like the sappy vest minus the ballistic plates. I don't consider the sappy vest with ballistic plates to be a useful thing. <laughs> Here comes the sappy talk. What are you talk about? What are you talk about? <laughs> Have, have, have I have I espoused some uh, some views on the Asapi <laughs> previously? It's less a, an Asapi talk, more of a general how much defense do you actually need talk. So here's the short version: If you have 12, 12 protection, twelve bash, twelve cut protection at hundred percent coverage on your whole body you're effectively immune to 99% of the damage you're ever going to take in Cataclysm. Now, barring you play hard mode like I do with, like, super evolution and so on, but all the standard zombie stuff, you're protected from almost all of the damage you're ever going to take. So, having 20-20 protection effectively does almost nothing for you. 
Having 40-40 protection does nothing for you. Having a million a million protection does nothing for you. <laughs> Uh, well, technically, a million million would actually help, but um, you have to hit really, really high numbers to make the jump from immune to 99% of the damage to finally conquering that last 1%, which is bullets. So, the whole point is, don't get shot. If you got shot, you're already screwing up. But um, carrying 60 extra pounds of weight in ballistic plates... And having 20-20 protection doesn't gain you anything. It's it's totally wasted weight and encumbrance that is not giving you any value back. So, an 85% coverage item that also weighs... Well, I don't know how much it weighs now, I forget the number, but it's, it's, it's massively weighty <laughs> and uh, encumbering with the ballistic plates in. And it doesn't really gain you anything. So, I don't mind the Asapi Vest without the plates. It's low enough encumbrance and weight that the 85% chance that it's going to block something for a decent amount is okay to me. I'm not willing to put the, all that extra weight on me just for the small chance that I'm going to get shot in the chest and not have it go by. Uh, what are we looking at? Just a little, little tiny town? Really? A zombie and an acidic zombie? You going to do me a favor of putting... Uh, oh, it's a little bigger than it, it seemed at first. <laughs> Hmm. Still just housing for the moment. Come on. Need uh, a vehicle? A vehicle? Ah, crap. Hey, look at that. Bugs and bandits hanging out in the uh, the public pond. <laughs> That's an interesting place for them. Pretty big town over here. Oh, there's one of the vehicles. Oh, they ripped the back off of it. No! No! <laughs> The diesel. Oh, it's JP8? Really? APCs have JP8 now? Huh. Well, this is potentially all the fuel I need right here. Question is do I want to stick around? If anything, I should park, then sleep. And try to raid it at night with like the jerry can to just siphon the fuel out and bring it back to my car. I'm not sure I'll be able to lead enough of these zombies away. Oops. Oh, dog pack. Dog pack. Come on, zombies. Hey, everybody, catch up here. Just gonna play Pied Piper for a bit. Note. APC with AP8. Problem is, uh... I got the second tank, so I can fill this tank with JP8. Depending on how much it has... I might ditch the diesel and fill the other tank with JP8 as well. It's going to depend on how much is there. I need to get out of the uh, range reality bubble wise now. So uh, it doesn't drain continuously. Let's hide back here. We can find a spot where there's nothing hanging out. This looks good. All right, we'll stop driving. Stop, uh, yeah, already down to 8.9. Very hungry. And normal body weight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to sleep, so we're gonna, we're gonna chow down on a massive pile of, uh, you know, cooking oil. 24, I think, is the max that'll let me put in my belly at once. Usually I can get about that much down. Two, three. 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. No, oh, I didn't quite have enough. We'll wait 30 minutes and then we'll chug down a little bit more. 1, 2, 3, 24, 25, 25. That'll be good. Belly full of oil. Yum, yum. Okay, 1300. Let's just go to sleep right now. Uh, where? Let's see. Drop the Tonfa onto the seat. Wield the M4. We got an armored vehicle around us now with no holes, so we shouldn't get any rude supplies. Rude surprises. Hey, I'm sure you want to sleep. Yes, I'm sure. Yeah, no alarm clock needed. There we go. Whoops. Oh, man. Man. <laughs> I thought I had the blindfold on. Now I don't have the tired malice. Uh, and it's 1,500. Do I have any cough syrup? I have one cough syrup. All right, take a cough syrup. Tired again. Sleep. Let's go... Seven hours be twenty two hundred. Nine hours be just after midnight. Go eight hours. Cool. All right. No, not 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 all vehicles. <laughs> Well, maybe it is all vehicles. This one was broke, so they might have switched all the vehicles to JP-8. That is possible. I was thinking this one had diesel, but I actually went and grabbed diesel from the armored car. So, guaranteed, the armored car is not JP-8. I got the diesel for this from the armored car. There actually is a difference, but not really effectively. And A diesel engine can run on all sorts of interesting things. Yeah, I don't do the old window cameras, window curtains cameras thing. The stink from the cheese is just a whiff too much for me on that one. That one I don't actually do. Those are all sealed. Just keep chowing away on the unsealed stuff. All the junk food. Are we back up to overweight? Nope, still not overweight. No problem. We'll wait 30 minutes. Have some water, if I can spell it right. Oh, give me time to craft up some more water. All right, do we want... Yeah, we have to drive in. <laughs> that's, that's too far. Let's go in north of the pond. Oop, that's too many things. Which way are you guys moving? They're coming southeast. It's not good. All right, let's try to get under them before they cross paths with them. Our guest. Ooh, our guest. Damn it, did the dogs come north? Ah, the dogs are in the area. Not good. And a smoke zombie's over there, too. Well, <laughs> they're, they're, they're not making this easy. Too many of these things can hear me, also. Oh, yeah, here comes all the dogs. Damn it. Um, well, come on, doggies. Didn't move very far. 
Hmm. Guess I could go in on foot. I got pretty good vision range. The vehicle noise is what's going to be a problem. I only need to get to right here. Worried about that group of dogs. A lot of dogs if they come at me. I don't want to leave that spot. Hmm. Oh, here comes the smoke sound. Him, I definitely don't want in the area. I got a filter mask, which will protect me from the smoke, but it's what he hides that it... not get shot in the head by those guys either. All right, let's do this. Do so. Uh, nobody can see me. Um, the lights for the vehicle are up front. And I'm too far back, so I, I. That's why none of things coming directly at me. They're just responding to the noise. So I'm not lit up. They can't see me. They could care less about light. So I have to explain this a lot to newer players. Zombies are not attracted to light. This does not bother them. Does not attract them. They don't move towards light. The only thing they move towards is you being lit. If they see a character lit, then they'll move directly toward the character. But I'm actually several spaces back behind the lights, and I'm not considered lit. So they can't see me. They're not moving my direction. So right now, I'm mostly trying to move things around with a horn. Yep, that's what I want to avoid. <laughs> Keep firing your guns, NPCs. Just not at me. Oh, crap. Uh, if I could get close enough to just siphon directly, that would be amazing. Swing this thing around without something coming up behind me. Ah, there's an incandescent husk right there. I think the husk heard me. That's going to be the problem is the vehicle noise. Turn off the headlights for a second. Let's just see if anything comes towards me. That Rottweiler's just a little too close. Yep, here he comes. Damn it! He's so close. Rottweiler. I won't be able to go fast enough to kill him on my way back out. I like that spot for some reason. I need those uh, bandits to fire a gun again or something. back up there. Ah, damn it. It's, it's too close. That's that same damn Rottweiler. <laughs> I'm getting getting uh, ganked by this one Rottweiler. Go hug the incandescent husk for a bit. That would be great. You would just go hug that incandescent. Here, I'll lead you up there. There you go. Everybody get close and, and hug each other. Ah, now I got a pupating in the area. Great. Now it's going to be slime all over the place. Yeah, see, I was getting worse and worse. <laughs> this is always what happens. Oh, man, I am burning fuel. 5.9. Not good. Um. Damn it.
park cleanly up here. Go through the house. Ooh, my steel jerry can of water. That would be better to load. Um, can replace water anyway. I'm a little nervous about trying to go through the house. I don't know what else is over there. open, did they? <sighs> I'm at so close. There's a slavering biter inside that thing, too. He's going to make noise, which is going to attract other zombies. Ah! I'm at... Yeah, I am not going to get done with it. Don't know where the slavering wandered off to. Siphon. E8. Container. Alright, steel jerry can. Volume 20. Now I believe I'm overweight, which is going to be a problem. Yep. Overweight by quite a bit. Get back to my vehicle before I zero out my stamina. While running overweight. All right, that is a victory. Bill, other tank, JP-8. All right, that'll give me enough to move around for a bit. All right, we're not going to stick around. <laughs> uh, it's all residential. Forest is going to connect up. So that road next to there. Oh, wait, that gets me around the Triffids. The gas station is, uh, down that way. Way down south, down. That gets me back to the research facility. Cool, let's go that way. Successful raid. of a mess out here. Security van. The outer edges of town. Hmm. And a solar vehicle I see over there as well. Soldier zombie, we got pupating. Ah, damn pool in the area. If I start letting loose with a gun, I still don't have my 1600 rounds of ammo. Wait, do I have my ammo? Uh, yeah, I can't remember. I do. Beagle! Good thing it's not that other kind of beagle. There we go. Looks like we do have a clean route past it. 
Cool. I believe there was a um, solar vehicle at the uh, research facility parking lot, too. If we can get back into that cleanly, we can... Ah, what are these bodies? We can get um, uh, power out of it. Remember if there were vehicles on the road. forgot about the Migos. <laughs> Who could forget about this, though? <laughs> uh, we'll just take the boot route on her. Make some noise. Instead of taking the vehicle in, we'll park it here. All right, I do have some ammo. Not uh, not 1,600 rounds worth. <laughs> I do have to be a little cautious about how much I use. Uh, does that mean it's time to pull the pull the laser rifle back out? Nah, let's not. All right, let's go take a look. We left it mostly empty. Tell me these batteries are good. Come on, come on. Oh yeah, right there. That's exactly what I wanted last major thing we need for our vehicle all right so we've got a security guard sitting right there need to bring my engine crane down kill a few of these guys You go green. My speed so low. Oh, burdened. Fine, be that way. That's it, right? I think that was it.
Now we can go crazy with the arc well. Don't need to worry about the acetylene torch. All right. Glorious. More tank, which I can take out of a vehicle here. That'll give me the three tanks I normally like to roll around in. Two storage batteries is enough. I'll probably get one more to throw in eventually if we come across it. Um, other than that, a general full repair. And uh, 50 cal, if we ever get a hold of one. We're good to go. Vehicle is pretty much exactly how I want it. All right, time is it? Um, I gotta make a decision now. I'm gonna wait on grabbing a tank. There's no particular reason for me to grab the tank from this. I can get it later from any vehicle we come across on the road. Um, that's not critical, and we'll fill it with water and all set to go for that part of it. Uh, but do we want to head back down and get into the barracks? We left two barracks and we left a uh, whole lot of bleach. Oh, that reminds me. I do need to get it. I guess I, I do want a tank so I can fill it with 60 liters of bleach <laughs> and bring it back out again. Hmm. Yeah, it can't be six liters of mutagen yet. We got we got a few things we got to get done before we can do that. Um. All right, let me uh, let me take my midstream break real quick. I'll uh, think about it while I'm on break. Be back with the fine folks here in just a few. <laughs> 